Hey there, math explorers. Welcome to Learn This. Today, we're diving into something brand new, division. If you've learned about multiplication, then you're already halfway there. Division is just the opposite of multiplication, and I promise it's not as tricky as it might seem. So grab your thinking caps and let's break it down together. Division helps us in everyday life. We use it when we share things, split things up and solve problems in math, science, and even cooking. So what is division? Division is simply splitting something into equal parts. Let's look at an example. Imagine you have 12 cookies and four friends. If you wanna share the cookies fairly, how many does each friend get? That's division. You would write this as 12 divided by four. What you're asking is, how many times does four fit into 12? Or, if I split 12 into four equal groups, how many will be in each group? If you watched our Multiplication Basics video, then you learned about our Box It, Fill It, Count It method. We're going to use a similar method here to make things easy. Let's make boxes for our four friends. Now, we want each friend to have a cookie. So next, let's fill the boxes one at a time until all 12 cookies are gone. One, two, three, four. Then we go back to the first box again and repeat that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's all the cookies. Now we count how many are in one box. Each kid got three cookies, so that's our answer. 12 divided by four equals three. Also, because division is just the opposite of multiplication, you can check your answer by multiplying. Start with your answer and work backwards. Three times four equals 12. If the multiplication is right, then your division was right. Let's look at another example. What is 30 divided by five? Remember, the way to think about this problem is, the first number is your items, like the cookies, and your second number is the group you're giving those cookies to. So we wanna evenly pass out all 30 cookies to five different students. How many cookies will each student get? Create your five boxes first. Next, fill each box with a cookie until all the cookies are gone. Don't ever add two cookies to the same box at a time. You always do one at a time until everyone has one, then you go back and repeat the process. Once all 30 cookies are gone, we add up how many are in one box. In this case, we have six cookies in each box, so that gives us our answer. 30 divided by five equals six. Now, try a few practice questions on your own. I'll give you a problem and you try to solve it before I say the answer. Pause the video after I present the question and once you are ready for the answer, you can unpause it. Ready? Let's begin. Sixteen divided by four equals four. Eighteen divided by three equals six. 14 divided by two equals seven. How'd you do? Division takes some time to master, so just keep practicing and you'll be a division dynamo in no time. Great job today. If you liked this lesson, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to learn this for more fun and easy math lessons. See you next time.